Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Taurus, for love and relationship for the month of May 2024. Some of you are under pressure or stressful situation at this current time. The person that you are seeking or love it says here that they think that you are not going to change anything in their situation and they are trying to teach you a lesson at this current time. You might be messaging someone and they are not doing anything about it, so you need to quit. You need to quit until this person like no really answer you. And I get here that you want a future with this person and this person have been looking into themselves, holding back on you because they want you just to understand where they are coming from. Your situation with this person is very difficult. You feel lonely and you separated from each other for a while. This person is called to you, holding back and trying really to show you what you did mistakes with them in the past. I get here that you know your person is shocked and surprised that you still want them now or you are putting yourself out there for them more than before. And they are telling you here that they have someone else and you believe that they are in a new relationship with someone else. Actually, you are the one who's going to be with someone else or a new relationship that you choose for yourself. Not the other person. The other person wants you to choose between him or her and other people that you like or you get involved with. You know when you are hurt with someone so badly and you try very hard with them and you feel like you know, that you are in an area or a job that you don't really want to do it anymore. So you feel or think about leaving your area or location or resident and your current job to go and apply somewhere else or live somewhere else because you want to change something and you don't want to sit there because you feel like why I'm here um, life have no taste here anymore or I don't feel good about it because the person that you love the most you know it's not really responding so I see some of you are trying to find um, a different location or a different job so it will be really making them much happier so they will have different luck to find other people just to take their mind off that location that they lost their love. And I get here, you still really did not do it. Some of you like you know, might travel overseas also or to another country because of that, because you are trying to let go that relationship. Either this person comes to you or you let go. I see like you know that this person might really come back in the future and they feel guilty about what they have done to you. They let you go upon their anger and they need more time to come back. And that person will come to you. But a lot of you are going to have a new relationship also and you're going to feel really tremendous, really amount of love with it. That person, the new person is going to reawaken your feelings again. You're going to open up. You're going to be really much happier than this person that you are seeking. The other person I get here, they have been really hurt by you. And another person from their past also that they haven't been really feeling good about it. 
uh, about life or love in general, but they're still going to come back to you. Give it some time. They think about you, that person from your past. They watch your social media. They are aware of every step you do on social media. They don't like it. That's why I get here. They are back and forth about coming back. They just want to teach you a lesson. He or she is mean to you. And they claim that you are the one who did really something bad to them in the past. Even if you think that you did everything is right, they think it was wrong. Okay. This person, their ego in the way because they wanted to marry you and something really bad happened here. That's why I get here that they are trying to change their direction and walk away. You feel that after you took that person for granted or their love for granted, that you lost them and you lost their, your position with them because you don't want them to love someone else. You want to be the one that they love really like you know, all the time. I get here you doubt yourself, you are sleepless, you might be really crying also because you want really to enjoy the love with this person. Uh, mostly... I see that you are trying harder for this person to love you back, not for you to be loving them. I'm not saying you don't love them at all. A lot of you do. But mostly that you want to keep your position. You want to be, you want this other person to be in love with you all the time. It's only you. I'm not saying that, you know, uh, it's okay for them, you know, to fool around, but you want them to love you. But some of you feel that way, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, what it says here that you are the one all the time. This person is coming back. I get that again to you after all of that separation. But they want to torture you and teach you a lesson. And not just that. They had enough from you because they tried and tried and tried and never get anywhere with you. That's what's going on here. I get here that they, you are trying to challenge, fight and argue, do an effort. You're confused. You don't know what to do. At the end, you're going to be together if you want. But if you respect that, if you goof around again, it's not going to be good. It's going to be nasty and you will lose this person forever. Many of you, I get here that you don't care about this other person that was really treating you that way. And you already find someone else. That relationship is going to have a success and is going to end up in marriage. A lot of you are like, you know, undecided about this person who wants to marry you also. And you are choosing just to have a fling or a small short time of really like a you know, relationship. You're going to find love all the time, no matter what, dear stories. Let's see about your money situation. Confident and lucky at work. Like I said, many of you like not trying to uh, change your location, go to another location, another job, and I get here that you will find that. But in the same time, I get here that there are a lot of you are holding back on a certain situation. You might really did the best three years, like you know, many really choices or bad choices with work. A lot of you, like, you know, who is seeking a new job, you are not getting the job immediately, right away. You keep, you need to keep trying harder and harder. There is a turn to the better this month. Maybe after the third week of May, it could be the second week, that I see many opportunities, many new jobs, many avenues are open. Your fortune is really changing into something really very good. After you doubted yourself for a long time, Remain strong, and I get here, look wisely, avoid jealousy, avoid confrontation with your bosses or other employees because it leads to something very, very extremely negative that you don't need. And that negative, 
I guess here make you move on to another job all the time and you want to look for another another. So it's not good. You lose many opportunities, extra over time, anything like that. So relax at work. Avoid jealousy. Avoid really changing people or controlling them also. It doesn't work that way. Other than that, I see a balance in your work. You succeed if you focus on your work, not really to challenge other people at work. And I get here that at the end, you're lucky, no matter what. Best of luck for you, dear Taurus. I hope you enjoyed the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me because private reading have more details about your person, specifically pointed at you and the other person. This is general, you know. You might be a Taurus watching me right now and it doesn't really exist with your uh, reading at all. You know, that reading doesn't exist with you. But with the private reading is different. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. The link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziza.com. After you click on reading prices, please purchase your reading, then give me a call. And the phone number is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.